I remember exactly how hard city died at city of 35,000 people, Jewish people. I saw the beer horror picture in front of my eyes. It was 44 years ago, and I still remember it happened yesterday, maybe a few hours ago. This part of Poland is Zomen, is beautiful. There's no rain, and the water is excellent. There's no clouds on the sky, in the sky. It was morning early, the sun began to shine on the horizon, and we could see the first rays of the sparkling light. It was warm and quiet. The people have asleep in the ghetto. We live on the lower on the third floor. When we look outside the window, we saw the street light beaming across the ghetto. It stayed quiet for a while, and then suddenly, at five o'clock, the SS came by the hundred with the Polish police. We saw this through the window. Then we covered the houses and went for one door. Then now the pounding with long bars on the door, throwing people out. They were running, running after them, hitting them constantly with stick and tools. They, they were pushing them out in front of the house and in the middle of the street, and then in the direction of the marketplace. We were still at our window, but even as we were looking down through, I could hear a noise coming close to us, running on the step, voices of people calling loud and louder, and then they knock on the door with steel bars, they open the door, they says knock on the door, wide open, calling in German, calling in German, schnell raus, throwing us from the room before us, and hitting us over our head with bars. My father covered my mother, my mother pushing him from, trying to protect her from beating, being hit by the SS, by the men from the SS, <coughs> by the men from the SS. They turned around, hollowing, much schnell, and he hit us, threw us into the step, running after us, so that, that we moved quickly. My father pulled my mother by the hands as quickly as possible. They ran down the step. We ran after them, as the SS ran after us. We were moving fast. My brother and I pulled our, pulled our crippled brother along, and my sister was behind us. We ran down to the step in front of our house. Once outside, we looked around. How terrible it was. We saw dead people laying on the ground, some of them still moving, blood running from their veins. We saw children running. We heard the cry, Mother, Mother. Nobody would pay attention to Everywhere we saw people praying, we heard shot. We saw the SS with dogs, they ran after the people pushing, they hit them constantly. They stood in the middle of the ghetto, thousands and thousands of people around us. The SS and the dog pushing us, they pulled the sick out in the hole and they killed them in place. Still more people were pushing into our group, we were packed, packed, clothes and clothes. The SS, the SS ran after orders, beat them to make them run faster, and they shot at the slow one. After a while, the Polish police, with the help of the Jewish police, collected dead in one same place. They saw growing a mountain of dead bodies, but also we saw, also we saw wounded people, and not them still moving, but the SS shot them in the head. We saw little children throw out from the second and third floor through the windows. Some are still living, some are still alive, and cry as they lay on the ground. And as I stepped with their boots out over their bodies, and smashed their little head with their boots. We saw martyrs killing by the SS as they ran after their little children trying to protect them. They stood in watched in horror. The crying and the shutting, the burst of the machine gun, the falling of the body, so many dead around us. In the minds of all of this, we heard the praying of just being killed. They died with the words, Shema Israel, on their lips. It took hours, they run all the Jews, and then they pressed us closer and closer. Still we saw the SS running after our people, hitting them with their guns. Never will I forget the cry of the innocent children, and the sound of the prayer of the old the sick, as the SS killed them. Sometimes they kicked them to death, even with a smile, which was on their face. I saw so many of my friends, and all of them being killed. We saw the SS men holding a bottle of vodka on one hand and a gun in another shooting, killing our people. 
I will never forget the terrible picture of an old man playing in his praying show, kneeling, saying the Lord's prayers. As the SS one stood behind him, shot him with his revolver. They have been standing frozen, with eyes wide open, crying, all sex of us. I stood with my family, my mother, my brother, my sister, my two brothers. As the SS went to our ranks, like hunters taking away from our group, the old men and women on one side, the youngest drunk on the other side. And the SS went us as we were standing, shaking and crying. He pulled out my mother and threw her to another side, away from us. At this time, we did not know that this was selection to the day that came, that they have been chosen to the crematorium to be killed and burned in the home. I still see the moment, the lovely face. I can still see in this moment the lovely face of my mother. With tears in her eye crying, she was constantly being pushed and co in calling us by name. She was specially calling my name. I was advised my favorite song. Joseph, Joseph, she was calling me. And I was looking as she was standing about 20 feet away when I was crying. I did, know what, I did not know what happened to me. I turned around and gave my sister a bundle of dollars saying, that, Tanya, this was her name. Go over to Maud and stay with her. Help her and we will join you in a few weeks. I did not know that I was sending her to death. The Germans were lying to us saying that they were sending the people to the east. And over there they were waiting for the army. They needed manpower. This is how they will survive. I did not know that this was the last time I would speak to my sister. She was so young. So beautiful, 21 years old. When she went over to my mother, she put her arm around her, helping her, she turned around to look at me. I will never forget her face full of tears, holding my mother and walking with her. She looked at me crying loud as they walk away. My mother with her hands high as she was waving to us, her says with the ducks with the dogs from both sides and the police, pushing them out in the ghetto, out they went to death. My father was standing beside me, saying the Lord's prayers. We did not know if they says would kill us for looking at our mother as she was being, being pushed away, with Tanya holding her arm as they went away. We hear crying of the people mixed with the voices of the says, and the policeman pushing them out to the railroad station. I sent my younger sister to the dead, so young. I did not know. Sometimes I'm awaking at night, I'm crying. As long as I will live, I will never ever forget and forgive myself that I sent her away. She was already in the line to stay in work. I did not know that she would, if she would survive. Who know? But I feel that I am to blame, since I was the one who sent her away. At least she would have been with me for some time. Still the killing and the selecting were gone for hours. This has took out a hundred young men from our group and put them to work. They had to collect the dead people who were laying around like monsters of them, who was laying around and they built up a mountain of dead people. Blood was folded all around them. They had to drag the bodies to the horse carriages and then put them on top on each other. Full carriages of bodies move away from the ghetto. They buried them in a large ditch and the pits gone. I visited this graveyard when I returned to our city in 1945 and I set courage in the memory of our loved one. I was standing in the middle of the market pie. We have, we have been standing in the middle of the market pie, the leftover, the temporary survivors of, for the community. We have been standing for hours. Some of us start to fall down. We all start to pray and lift our, our eyes to the sky. We did not care anymore. We know that we don't have any chance to survive. After this which we saw today.